Pam, if you'll kind of chime in on this as well. But let me break this down rather simple the way I computed this. The schools have an income coming from sales tax of roughly $4 million a year. Is that correct? Their portion of the sales tax, $4 million a year. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's what we've assumed, All right. 3.99. The next thing we have coming in are lotteries. Lottery proceeds are $1.3 million a year. Is that correct? Correct. That's on the school. That, that's, on that's right, on the school side. So if I add those together, I've got how much per, per year coming in? That's $5.3 million. The current obligations would be $1,071,000. I'm going to rough, round that off to $1 million on a payment on an existing outstanding loan. So we don't have 5.3. We now have 4.3. Is that correct? Correct. Now let me reduce it one more time, and that is what you are analyzing and stating $1.99, $2 million a year that goes to their... What? Capital outlay maintenance. Capital outlay maintenance. Now, I have to take that away as well. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You have to, that, that's you, you have to back that one. Now, how much money have I got left on an annualized basis? Around $3.2 million. How much? Around 3.2. Well, your addition is different than mine. Oh, that 2.2? Did I do that math I got five two, and I'm taking away one, so four two, four two. and I'm taking away two, minutes, so I got two point two. There is my heartburn, guys and ladies, and that is you only have two point two left of income coming in, and yet we want to sign a lease payment for three point two. Am I correct in my figures? Based on the current assumptions in here, yes, sir. Well, All right, so that means that I've got the one point seven million dollars in increased funding for operation, plus we're going to have to come up with another million in order to make the payment. Now, I, the only place I know where that million's coming from is from local tax, at valorum taxes. So, as you can see, we're looking at around 2.7 million, and if you analyze that based upon a tax rate, immediately how much are we going to have to increase the tax rate in order to accommodate this? Based on a $2.7 million and a one penny on your tax rate, we had at about $740,000 this year, be about 3.6. So we would actually, if we go with the plan, we would have to have roughly a 3.6 cent increase in taxes to go with the plan. And that's where I've got some heartburn. That's where I've got some heartburn. Is there a way for us to accomplish the goal of building the new schools that will not hit us with a tax increase. That's that's the questions coming to me from my constituents. They want the schools. Hey, what up's in my district? And I realize I'm getting some some pushback because people would rather me just say go with the plan and, and not even.